warmest welcome to this first ever Science Day. With your permission, then I follow your dress code. This is a collective and collectives are what move issues forward. To quote uh, Carl Sagan, we are in very bad trouble if we don't understand the planet we are trying to save. It's been established uh, that we are far behind uh, on achieving the SDGs. With the seven years that are left, how can science help us accelerate the achievement of the SDGs? Only 12% of the SDG targets are on track based on the Secretary General's latest progress report. So what can be done? We're working with 100 country governments who have developed what's called the Integrated SDG Analytics to show where the actions can have the biggest impact to close the gap for the lagging SDGs. The issues that are important for me as we do that is how science itself ensures that women are included. Then there's another element of how do we take science to the people acknowledging indigenous knowledge systems uh, that can also assist and science need to respect. Science was really an afterthought in their design. Can we not change that now as we enter the second half of the SDG window? Thinking in 17 silos has led to linear thinking which undermines the, the potential of science to have optimal impact. The SDGs are more than the sum of their parts, so it's really looking at the SDGs as a, as a whole. We often see, for example, if you take actions on your institutional quality, the quality of governance, you can actually help achieve a lot of lagging SDGs if you just focus on some of the actions. So these are the kind of evidence we try to find. Science has to get out of the other ivory tower and reach out to society. Science is a process, among others, to generate knowledge, to assess that knowledge on a systematic basis. I believe we need a science that breaks down the barriers of departments, faculties and institutes. And I believe in a science that is becoming more transformative, that takes on the challenges, is much more oriented to the challenges of the next couple of years of SDG implementation. We know that we have a proliferation of science, more scientific papers than ever are being produced, but how do we make it accessible to policymakers? How can we ensure that we produce cumulative knowledge and sort of not uh, avoid reinventing the wheel? This is a type of art that I consider a social art. It only exists because you're here. This joy that I have. Well